this is the beginning of part 2 of the video on Succel News module. So let's say I can select English, I can put my headline, let's say you can put this is my headline in English, just to make it to make a difference from the English to French, I'm gonna put almost the same thing for the subline. And now I can put a teaser text. This is my teaser in English. I can use uh, the image as well. I'm not gonna put that at this point. I'm just gonna put the detail text in English. And again, I can put the detail image as well. And there are a couple of more options. I'm not gonna cover them, but this is basically the the article in in English. Now, once I do that in English, I can flip locale to to French, and I can put the French content. Now, just to make sure, you may want to check it back to make sure that yeah, everything is is still there, even though you have not uh, clicked on update. We have not clicked on update yet. But let's select now French, and now let's do the same thing. But now. Let's call this, this is my headline in French. And I'm gonna put this is my subline in French. This is my teaser text in French. And so just you can see the, the, the difference from the French to the English one. And this is the detail in French. So once this is done, there are some uh, date options here. There is also category that you can create different categories. But again, main purpose of what I'm showing here is to make sure that you understand that this module can handle properly multi locales in the same .network website. So it's all selected. I'm gonna click update, and now I'm on the on the English site. I can see the the English text. If I click on the French site. I can see now the French text. If I go back to the English, I should be able to, by clicking on read more, I should be able to go to the details of this article or this news. Now, here's the thing, it's not going anywhere. And the reason is very simple, because at this point in time, we have placed new, under news admin, the core, under news, the list, but we have forgotten to place this Excel news detail. So we have to place the details somewhere. And I'm gonna create another page just to display, to display the detail view of the news of the articles. So I'm gonna click on new and I'm gonna call this as news detail. And this page, it will be visible by all users, but I'm not gonna include it in the menu. And I will be placing this page under under news as well. Again, it will be under news, but not be displayed in the menu, and all users will be able to see this menu, or to see this page. So I'm gonna hit update. So from here, I'm just gonna delete this text HTML. What I can do is, now I can, I should add the Excel news detail to this page. So this page will be the one that will be displaying the details of the news. So let's click add module. So it's basically telling me that no core module was linked to the detail yet. That's fine. I'm going to link it now. Under settings, I can go under uh, news core module. I can select news admin and it will pre-select its Excel news core, which is there. So I'm going to just also under list tab, I'm going to say where is the list view of this detail and this is the list view the list view is sorry the list view is news so i'm gonna update because when we are in the details we can go back to the list view so let's click update now if i go back to news i will be able to click read more and i should be able to see that maybe because i need to go to news admin and do some settings there. Let me let me have a look here. Edit new settings. Let me go here. Yeah, actually in the new settings, I also have the, I have to say what is the list and what is the detail. I'm gonna link back to the list, which is news, into the detail, which is news detail. 
not sure why I have to do all those linkages, but anyway, it seems to require that. So let me click update. Let me go back to news. Now, if I click read more, I should go there. Yes, I'm there. So I can see here, this is the detail in English. Uh, again, uh, the details, I, I put just a, a little blurb, but as you can see, there's a difference. We are in different pages here. Read more. And if I flip that to French, I will be able to click read more. And again, even, even this text can be translated as well. I can click read more and now I can see the detail in French. Now let's go to the list. And as any regular listing module, we can go to the settings and let me flip this to English. We can go to the settings and we can say how many items we want to display. So there is a maximum visible items. This is very useful. We can also uh, link an RSS feed to this page that will provide an RSS feed to other sites from the list in that, in that module. Now, the other interesting aspect of this module is that you can select uh, a different skins that will modify the way the module looks like. For instance, if I go here in this drop down where it says list skin URL, I can select module folder, which is the folder of this module in the site files. And then there is a folder called default views. I can click there and then I can select from the default views. I can select if I want a detail which is not the case. This is a list. I have list and list no images. List will have uh, images if there are images for that news. And list no images will have will will not have any any images at all. So let me click on no images. Let me click update. Now again, this is this is the default one that we we're using before. Now we can customize those skins very, very much. I mean, you need to know a little bit of HTML. You maybe need to know, yeah, mostly HTML, but we, we can customize them very easily. And I will give an example, something that we have, we have worked on. If I open the site files of this site, I can go to desktop modules, then to Succel news, and then to default views. So those are the default views. So what we, we can do very easily is create a copy of default views and start changing those, def those, uh, templates and start changing and make them look like the way we want. So actually we have done that and I'm going to show an example. I'm going to copy a folder here with our own templates. So here's a folder that I have created called changed views. This folder was originally just a copy of default views, but we have done some change to those files. So for instance, I can go back to the site to apply the, those new listings, those new, the new look and feel. So if I go back here to the action menu of the list, I can go to settings and then once it comes up, I can select under the list skin URL. I can select the new folder, which is called changed views. And I can select a new list skin URL. From that list, I can, I can call it, let's say, let's try this uh, list events. Actually, let's try just list no images. This should do make some, some difference. So let's click update. So as you can see, it's showing quite, quite a different look here. So again, you can highly customize those templates to make them look like whatever you want. Okay. So basically this is it. This is a, an overview of a very, very good module. I highly recommend this module called Succel News, which is a news module that can work as an article module. You can have it, you can have news, you can have articles ordered by dates in in other types of ordering as well but the key one of the key elements that attracted me to this module is the ability to do multiple languages on it that be able to select the locale put the article select the other locale put the article and then the site will will handle when you flip from one language to the to the other one okay so thank you very much and bye for now